the Lord. I just pray that you help us to And throughout the worship, I pray for um, the, as the Sherry shares, that all of us are super to listen to you. We pray for our new friends that are here. Help them to be able to come together. And she learned her word. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Okay. Okay. Christine is going to pray for us. So everyone, I need to look over here. Come to the time. Okay, Christine. Thank you for bringing us out here to worship today. Okay. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Somebody heard me. Okay, everybody stand up.
Amen. Good morning, children. Can you hear me? Yeah. Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay, you hear me through the speaker. Yeah. All right, so today, wow, I see so many colorful. You guys are so colorful today. I see different colors and different styles, boys and girls. So welcome. Today, I think uh, we have wheat colors. So if you are the first time here, or October is your first one here in DEC, please stand up. We would like to welcome you. First time, I think uh, we have, uh, is Mia first time? Your very first time? Okay, who else is your very, very first time? And you are also, is that all for you? All for you, right? Your first time? <laughs> Anybody else? First one? Yes, I know you are very good. And also, oh, you are first time? You are not first one? Carson is not first one? No. Carson is first one? Oh, no, not All right. So let's work on these two. Wonderful. Lovely ladies here, Mia and Angry. Let's give them a big hand. Welcome, everyone. So they are the very first time, so they don't really know what's going to take place next. So help, help her to get familiar with the, the space and help her to feel welcome to this place, okay? All right, so um, children, we have a wonderful message today for you. It's talking about God. Who remembers last week? Word up. What, what do we have last week? Word up. Okay, um, Christy. The Bible is true. Yes, last week before you said, Word up, the Bible is true. Well, the Bible, the, Bible. Yeah. the Bible is true. Last week we talked a lot to tell you the Bible is true. But still, I think some people still have questions or doubts about indeed the Bible is true. And then I have a question how, how did this world get created? How did I get created? Oh, you may sit down. Oh, oh yeah, me, uh, and Oh, yes, you may sit down. Thank you. You guys are so good. You, you listen to comments. So when I say sit down, sit down, what do you need to say? When I say stand up, you stand up. All right, so today, two things I want you to pay extra attention to. When I, when you see this, this picture, God is the creator of a king. I want you to tell when I say word up, you will say, God is the creator king. Okay, let's practice this. When I say word up, God is the creator. And I also want you to have some motion. When I say word up, you said, God, God is the heavenly God. God is the creator king. Okay, let's do it together. God, God is the creator. Okay? See, God is the G. He's everywhere. Okay? Before you speak, 
But I need to talk more. So maybe when I talk, that will answer your questions. Okay, right away. So there are many theories that I can call this world came about. Some scientists even think it was a big bang, a big explosion, boom! And by accident, the world it happened, the world just got created like that. Big explosion, boom! Oh, I said, huh? Well, I, I had trouble understanding that. And then some scientists even think this world got it was in the, in the evolution. So what that means is gradually change from something simple to something more complicated. And then for human beings, some scientists even believe that we evolved and gradually change from What's this animal? Monkey. Yeah, yeah, some people even see that. We are a monkey to intelligent person like us. Okay, but then of nevertheless, there is something you said the Bible is true. So let's find out what the Bible says. I'm going to see today. I bring my Bible. Anybody brought your Bible? No. Oh, anybody has Bible at home? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Very good. So, okay. I'm going to turn to the first book. Who, who knows what, what the first book of Bible is? All right, Emma. Genesis. Genesis. And I'm going to turn to the very, very first book and the very, very first chapter and the very, very first verse. Chapter one, verse one of the first book of the Bible. It said, listen carefully because you need to memorize that verse at the end of the slide. Okay, and I want a gentleman right here to read chapter one, verse one from Genesis for us. Right here in AD. Loud and clear. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Oh, who created the heavens and earth? Oh, okay. All right. So even though Bible is not a science book, but it does tell us something that has to do with science. And then from the verse, David just read. It said, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Very good. That's from Genesis chapter one and verse one. And let's see. Oh, okay. Whenever you see this, uh, the heart shape, that's for you to read. So let's read that together. One, two, three, go. God is Yeah. 
No, he did not have to have a shirt out of the But he can create, he created from nothing. So that's it. Let the water on the ice and then let it go down. Let the water on the ice and then let it go down. Let the water on the ice and then let it go down. And then that becomes quiet land. Okay? So then it also got created a set. So they created what they got created. Dry land and fresh. They bring what did that create? There is it. Dry land and land. All right. Now I have a question. Do you guys, are you guys reading? Okay. Okay. Now, breathe in. Take a deep breath. Uh, if you're reading, you can ask me. Okay, let's do this together. Take a deep breath. One more time. When you're breathing, you cannot speak. One more time. And you're breathing. You know why you're breathing? Oxygen. Okay? So, I have a question. Do you think we can live without plants? No. 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 Okay. Yeah. The, but the, the thing we breathe in, oxygen is created by the tree, by the plants. And then when we eat, we out. Um, we bring out the carbon dioxide. That's what plants need. So now we're going to find out on day three when God created the dry land and the plants. What happens? We need to have plants. Children, children, please. I think I, this young lady and the, this gentleman, they always stay strong and always stay patient. So I want everybody to watch them and do exactly what they are doing. Okay. Thank you. All right. So now next, we can see what what the plants do for us. Okay. So pay attention. Let's watch a little video. Of course not. Fun fact. In addition to providing food, did you know that plants do something else very important for us? Plants produce oxygen, which we need to breathe. Take in a deep breath. You just breathe in oxygen. Now let your breath out. You're now breathing out carbon dioxide, which plants need to grow and live. Okay, wow. So when we breathe in, when we breathe in, so when we breathe out, when we breathe out, can we live without trees, plants? No, no, yeah, very right. So on day three, what did God create? Plants and and trees and dry land. Yes. River. That's the part of the ocean. Oh, the water, the water, the river. Oh, that's how you make it. They separate waters from water, so it could be big chunk of water like ocean, or you know, small river, or creek. Okay. All right. So next, on day, what day are we on now? What day? Four. Four. Okay. Day four. On day four. God created what? The 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 water, the sun, the moon. So on day four. God created the stars, the moon, and the stars. Let me ask you, how many stars are there? Okay, now how many zero 
is much larger than the Earth, so its gravity pulls on the Earth and keeps it from flying out into space and being destroyed. If the sun was closer or larger, the pull of its gravity would be so strong, it would pull the Earth in and destroy it. The moon is much smaller and closer than the sun, but its gravity pulls on the Earth and helps to cause tides in the ocean. Both the sun and the moon are exactly the right distance to the this could never happen by accident or by chance. Okay. See? God created all the stars, and each one of them has something called ocean. So the stars which will stay around the ocean, and none of them will put it out to pay the crash to each other. God's creation is so wonderful and Day five. Okay. Day five. Let's read that star. Okay. I mean that that the heart. Let's read it together. One. One, two, get ready to go. Okay. So God of day five he created a what? A birds and he created a fish, right? Okay. And then we, we can see that fish and the birds, they are so they are very different. So you miss something very, very interesting. Are you sure? I'm gonna say that next. And they're called the clown fish. Are you sure? Okay. All right, so open everybody pay attention. God of day five. I think I, I heard something speaking. If you are speaking, you, you want to teach, so then I'm going to give you the microphone for you can teach. Who's speaking here? Oh. I think somebody, somebody wants to really learn what's going on here. So day five. God, okay. Part of, part of, you want to go to heaven? Is that one? <laughs> Okay, day five. God created fish and birds. And then there are so many kinds of fish and birds. And then I see one of them. See how incredible God's creation is. Are you ready? Yeah. yeah. Okay, let's see. Ooh, Ooh let's see. Here. They just, they just... Oh, it's clownfish. Clownfish. God made the little orange and white clownfish, and to keep them safe, 
God also made the sea anemone as a place for the clownfish to live. Why are the clownfish safe there? Because the sea anemone has tentacles with stingers so other fish stay away. But the clownfish was created with mucus covering its body, which protects it from being stung. Fun fact! There are over 7,000 types of frogs. The structure of their feet varies to enable some frogs to swim, others to glide from tree to tree, and some to grip and climb vertical surfaces. Others even have an extension on their back feet that acts like a spade to help them dig in the ground. Oh my goodness! See, when we first saw this, you guys did not really get it. The 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 you guys did not really get it. It's the clownfish. Fun fact. God made the little orange and white clownfish. And to keep them safe, God also made the sea anemone as a place for the clownfish to live. Why are the clownfish safe there? Because the sea anemone has tentacles with stingers so other fish stay away. But the clownfish was created with mucus covering its body, which protects it from being stung. On that, there are over 7,000 types of frogs. The structure of their feet varies to enable some frogs to swim, others to glide from tree to tree, and some to grip and climb vertical surfaces. Others even have an extension on their back feet that acts like a spade to help them dig in the ground. Yeah. Oh. 
Okay, we are together. One, two, three, we go. We are Thank you. 
Thank you. 